Police officers often try to abuse their power and authority, but what happens when they run into undercover FBI agents instead of regular people? Where'd you get this? Federal Bureau of Investigation? The U.S. Air Force specialist and former FBI agent was stopped because his license plate was a bit covered. But when the police learned who he was, they began searching for any excuse to arrest him. How you doing, sir? Good. All right. What's up? Deputy Turner with the Sheriff's Office. The reason okay. I'm stopping you is your your plate's obstructed. Yeah. Whatever that thing's got, you got to take it off, okay? Okay. It's got to be visible within a certain distance. Right. Now, when you went to driving school and a cop yeah. pulls you over, what they tell you? No, you pull over when it's safe. To do no, you pull over immediately. Okay? Let me tell you this. That, and, and, now, you pull over immediately. Sure. Uh, because I don't know what you're doing inside this car. Sure, yeah. Hiding guns, you know what I mean? Officer yeah. safety is number one. Right from the start, it's obvious this cop is wrong and has a superiority complex. You don't have to pull over immediately for several reasons, such as avoiding traffic obstruction and ensuring safety. It's better to stop as soon as it's safe to do so. Suddenly braking and swerving to the side of the road without a hard shoulder isn't safe. However, this isn't the only lie the cop tells. Yeah, so who are you? Oh, I'm I guess I could. Former NDOC and I used to work security at Harris. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm a contractor. Okay. Uh, do you have insurance on this thing? My partner, huh? Do you have insurance on this thing? Yeah. Your partner or what? Now, my partner called me. I'm a contractor with Southwest Gas. Mm -hmm. So I got to go there and get him logged into his computer. Okay. So I was kind of in a rush. Hey, you live where? After asking a few routine questions, the cop becomes more specific and looks for a way to incriminate him. What do you got right there up front? I got some siren. I'm a, I contract. I'm a contract you contract so, so some of the work that requires to have a siren. Turn it on. Go ahead, step up. No weapons on anything like that? Nah. Alright, I'm going to take you out like this just to check. Okay, go for that one for me. Put that down for now, and then I'll do it for you. So you're not a... Uh, like law enforcement, right? You're not a law enforcement officer? Yeah. Huh? The agent is being handcuffed without knowing why. He assumes it's because of the lights since the cops haven't told him the reason for his detention. But when they find out who he works for, things take a very strange turn. Why haven't you taken the lights off of there? No, I do contract work, so I have to have lights on this vehicle for some of the work. They shouldn't be that color, though. Yeah, they shouldn't be red and white, brother. Yeah, it depends on who you're contracting with. If you contract with law enforcement agencies, it's good. Which agencies do you contract with? The names on ACOJ. So you have a contract? I've worked. Okay, so do you have a government ID? I have a contract. Where's that? Where'd you get this? That's an issue. Issue two. Federal Bureau of Investigation badge? Let me, I'm going to read you your rights too, okay? The cops now know who he is, but that doesn't prevent them from exceeding their authority and searching the agent without his consent. No guns, right? Yeah. Inside the car? Yeah. Okay. Who, because, like I said, man, too. Put some money in. Okay. Put that back in until I put it in the bag, okay? So the reason you're in cuffs, okay, is per NRS. Unless you're a sworn I, officer. I know in Nevada you guys did. Yeah, you're not allowed to have red and blues. Sure. Right? Because then sure. you could easily impersonate I'm red. a police officer. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, that's the reason I have you in cuffs. Okay. okay? Right. You have this. This is great. Sure. You know what I mean? So, who issued this to you? My former employer. Your former employer? Yeah. So, you used to work for the FBI at I, one point? I can't. I'm just <laughs> throwing out because I'm not going to get these officers are clearly unhappy that the agent has a response for everything. So they opt to start posing questions they know he can't answer, aiming to incriminate him, a manipulative and corrupt tactic. Since you got the badge, where's your creds at? Where's your federal creds at? I have an FBI badge. Yeah, I used to be a task force officer mm -hmm. with the FBI. Yeah. Okay. Right. You ever work for them? Yeah. So, what did you work for? Well, I'm 
texting somebody right now. If you impersonate a federal officer, you're in trouble. Okay. And like I said, with the red and blues, that alone right there, okay? Sure. That's what you're in. in that, that, but that's not that's not an offense in and of itself to have red and blue Yes, lights. it is. And I'm going to show you the NRS. You have to actually run, you have to actually run those lights. No, you don't. They're in your vehicle, and I must destroy those. Okay? And I'm going to pull up the NRS for you. I went to a okay. police officer academy. I know what the NRS well, you is. You might again, but I went have to... Have they updated room. the NRS? Have they, show you. have they? Okay. Once again, their concern revolves around the lights on his car. The officers lack the authority to search the agent in this situation. Therefore, rummaging through his pockets is entirely unjustified and illegal. The details in this case are somewhat unclear. It's against the law for a civilian to use red and blue emergency lights on their vehicle, but this individual never activated them. Even when he did, he was contracted with an official law enforcement agency. Additionally, if he only works part-time with the FBI, it would be incorrect for him to consistently identify as an FBI agent, which he didn't. Therefore, he wasn't impersonating an agent. In this scenario, the officers didn't detain him for committing a crime, they detained him because he could have committed a crime. It's akin to arresting a licensed gun holder because they could potentially use the weapon for robbery.